Fight on, men and women, the blue and white. Fight on, fight on with all your very might. Horse as high as our battle cry. Fight, horse heads, fight. Keep up the courage to keep goals in sight. Fight, horse heads, fight. For a horizon that is bright. Keep fighting, old, white, and blue. Shall ever walk a path that's straight and true. Raise your head up to the sky for horse heads high. With a final score of 35 to 14. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying this. My horse heads blue raiders beat the Corning Hawks in a matter of, this is just a matter of pride. Okay, so full stop. For many years, and I do mean for many years, Corning really has gotten the better of horse heads in football. Like even back in the days when it was a Corning East and Corning West, whenever we played Corning East, like they used so much misdirection against us. Like it wasn't until just a couple of years ago, as I was doing these videos, that we did finally beat Corning at Corning. And up until last night, we hadn't beaten them since. So this was a good, you know, I think it was 21 when we beat them, 22, 20, so about three years since we last beat them. I mean, listen, you can say whatever you want, you can say whatever, you can believe whatever you want, but um, in terms of traditions and superstition and all that, all that energy does go somewhere. I say this. Because this is the second time I brought this bell to a horse heads Blue Raider game. And we won. Again, it might sound crazy, but all that energy does go somewhere. I am telling you, this bell just might be why horse heads wins the section four time. That's my prediction. Let me get my uh, share. Hold on. Here we go. Bring forth the ottoman. It was actually right here in front of you this whole time. For the record, there's literally like a ring in the rug where the ottoman was. So, I have a blue hammer award to give out. No, don't I? So, where? Where do I even start in terms of who deserves this award? Oh, actually, what am I thinking? We have a low and high, I have a little high and times to do. Um, so I'll cut right to the chase. My uh, low is the fact that not only is it getting darker earlier, but it's getting colder too. I mean, I'm not wearing it now, but during last night's game, I actually wore a pair, of, I wore my own, because my family likes to ski, and when you ski, I actually have a, when we ski, I have a pair of long johns I, I wear, you know, to keep myself warm. I wore that pair of long johns at last night's game. To be perfectly honest, I like wearing those long johns a lot, I really do. Whether it's like going out and like staying warm on a really cold day, or literally lounging around and vegging out, just for relaxing. That's how comfortable those things are. And it's awesome. But, um, I mean, I wore them last night, so yeah, gotta wash them. Point is, like, uh, it's getting cold out. That's my low. I mean, judging, I mean, you should pretty much figure out by, if at this point in the video you haven't figured out what my high is, then you need to start all over and really pay attention. Because of course my high is the fact that we won and the fact that bringing this bell worked again. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not gonna ring it like crazy. I'm just gonna try and, there we go. I'm gonna try and keep it steady so it's not loud and obnoxious for people to, for people to hear. And what was my act of kindness? What was my act of kindness? Um, I had, I had the door for some people earlier, yesterday. I did that. Um, before I left for the game, um, I visited my folks, and uh, 
my mom isn't really strong enough to start their uh, leaf blower, so I started the leaf blower for my mom. So, um, yeah. Um, needless to say, it's uh, not a good thing to get old. Um, so, in regards to last night's game, there were quite a few people who legitimately deserve to get this Blue Hammer Award. I mean, number four, the quarterback, he did a great job keeping the ball harm's way. Um, number 10, he was also really good. I gotta give special mention at number 11, because, like, okay, so, here's the thing. Number 11 was a, he was definitely one of the faster kids, and he was playing a cornerback, and, um, Kudos to him for trying to get, like, an interception. And he really, like, seriously, this kid really did play hard. Absolutely. Unfortunately, one of the times he tried to break it up it, to get the interception, he, um, the guy from Corning caught it and he ran in for really the only touchdown in the game. Yeah, I said it was 35 to 14, but the last touchdown came with, like, 30 seconds left to go in the game out of pity. That's pretty much what it was. Like, it really might as well, it really was like 35 to 6. Like, like Horsehead's just putting in, like, their non-starters in, stuff like that. It was just insane. Um, so, that happened. Um, I got also say, this is tough, because... Who should get this? I mean, I hate to do the same person three times, but that number 26, he's a, he's a, number 26 is a grown man. Before I say though, number nine, he scored the last touchdown that Horse has had. Like, number nine, no pun intended, literally hammered the final nail into the coffin. Yeah, oh. actually, no, I'm only a hammer. It is pun intended. Who am I kidding? So, number nine, like, that guy is awesome. But again, number 26 is a grown man. Like, okay, I, I said this once before, but in my area, we have what's called the Ernie Davis Award, which pretty much goes like the best football player in the 607. If that number 26 isn't up for contention for the Ernie Davis Award, then clearly the universe is out of tilt. Because for nothing else, number 26 earned that blue hammer award. He did. I mean, there was literally one time where number 26 pulled a Derrick Henry. He like took, like, according to how he thought attack him, number 26 was like, get your punk ass away from me. Like, shoves him away. Like, he did what, Der he did. He did to that corny kid what Derrick Henry did to Josh Norman. It was insane. I'm like, yeah, number 26. He's a grown man. I know it's not going to happen. I doubt it ever happened, but I said this before. I said this in the past. One of my dream goals is to combine Horace Eds and Trinity Pauling in some way. I mean, you're going to bring this T, bring the TP bell to the horse heads games. It's clearly shown to be a lot of fun, especially since horse heads won both times I brought this bell. But, I mean, well, ideally I would have a giant party where all the people I know from horse head, all the people I know from, you know, Trinity Polly, you know, I have a big party to become, become, become friends. That'd be the ultimate goal. But, the next best thing would be to take Horsehead's athletes and say, hey, listen, you know, you have a real shot of being able to play football in college if you go to Trinity Pauling. Like, that'd be like the ultimate right there. I mean, thankfully, in terms of like younger kids, like in their early teens, there are some prospects I have seen who definitely fit the moniker. But in terms of like right now, 
several players from Horse Heads could go to Trinity Falling. And they would tear the Founders League up turn the Founders League upside down. And twenty six is on the top of that list. I mean good God. What like he was scoring touchdown at touchdown yesterday. Again, the shoved the corny kid off. So yeah. Um number twenty six, this blue ham orders for you. If I doubt I don't think you'd be watching this, but if you did, please tell me that you are a junior. Because if you go to Horace Heads again, and then if you want to repeat your senior year at Trinity Poly, you are going to be dangerous. Or if you are a senior and you want to repeat your repeat your senior year and go to Trinity Poly, you're going to be dangerous. Like, ah, this is so much fun. Um, and it's funny. Um, as I was like ringing the cowbell, I think we had just, um, no, we, uh, Corny fumbled and we recovered. I was ringing the bell. Some lady behind me goes, it's the cowbell. I'm like, yeah, it's the cowbell. Um, anyway, I was, uh, I was sitting to it next to a friend of mine whose daughter is like one of the cheerleaders of the game. That was really, it was, it was fun seeing my friend again. That was really cool. Um, saw a couple of my old, couple of my old teachers yesterday. That was really fun. Um, it was great hearing the announcer for Horseheads again. No disrespect to Elmira, but they really need to work on their, uh, sound. Seriously, I never said this for the Elmira game, but, um, if you were to go to the, uh, if you were to go to Elmira Stadium, like, um, Every so often, as like the guy was speaking over the uh, announce, a guy was being announced, you're up. Like a, like a, um. The, the sound was much louder, because like it's an open area and it echoed. But like, you would hear like every time the guy from was speaking. Not that it was annoying, I mean, I'm pretty sure that was an, an accident, the fact that the, the sound system was like that. But a lot of people at last night's game were making fun of that. And, okay, I didn't mention this in the Elmira game either. But um, whenever Horsehead said something good, the announcer goes, for the Raiders. Like, he was begrudgingly saying that the Raiders, that, my, that the Horsehead was playing well. And one lady last night, like, mentioned that, and I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, look, I get it. It was Elmira's homecoming against, for all intents and purposes, a crosstown rival. But, I mean, you can't help but laugh at that sort of thing. Um, so, yes, Horseheads, congratulations on beating Corning. Right now, I'm feeling really confident going into the next couple of games as you, I know for a fact, because actually, speaking of Elmira, Elmira beat Union Endicott like 47 and nothing. Like, Horseheads needs to beat UE. Like, best case, like worst case scenario, Horseheads has to play UE twice or Vessel twice. And win both times. Obviously, once in the regular season and once during the playoffs to, you know, win section four and go on to the state tournament. But the fact that, because Horseheads beat Elmira 42 to six, and Elmira beat Union Endicott like 47 to nothing. I mean, I will admit in the beginning of the game, I really thought Corny was going to pull out their own shenanigans in terms of last night's game. But Horace says, was like, no, you're not doing that to us. Not anymore. Like, the Horace Heads Blue Raiders are back. Um, yeah, the Horace Heads Blue Raiders are back. So, I forget. Horace Heads would have to go, I think Horace Heads, because, 
We played Vessel at home last year and UE away. And I believe Horsehead has an away game. I think that's Vessel. Horsehead is at Vessel next week. And then we play Union Endicott at home. Which makes me wonder what what the senior game is. Hmm. I don't know. But, I mean, to the Horsehead's Blue Raiders football team, players and staff, congratulations on the big win. Like, this was huge. Like, I thought before you guys played against Union and the Cotton Vessel, like, like, you need to beat Corning just to go in with that added confidence. I mean, listen, chances are you probably could have lost to Corning and you probably still would be, be able to beat Vessel and Union and the Cotton, but it's that added confidence that really, like, to be able to do something and have the confidence to be able to do something are two completely different things. And... Right now, you know, it's like for what Pharrell Williams said in yesterday's Hot Ones episode. You know, unfortunately, Horsehead's in the past has had a problem with confusing the process for success. They overlap, but they know what they got to do. They know they can't just say, oh, okay, we beat this one team. Beating this next team is going to come easy. It doesn't work that way. They're showing like, okay... Horses is a group of men on a mission. And come hell or high water in early November, they're fighting for that Section 4 title. Whether it's against Vestal or Union Endicott, I don't know. But regardless, whether they're home or away, I'm going to be rooting for them. And if they're at home, Yes, I'm bringing the cow bell. I hope y'all like this video and you'd like to subscribe to the channel on social media. As always, I'm very humble this video for all you guys watching. Join me. We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Oh, happy Saturday, folks. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to the channel, we'll be here to lend the you back. Take care and make it actually hold on a second. So you guys remember I had my chain on. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to the channel, we'll be here to lend the you back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby. Let me.